What's going on guys and welcome back to another Satisfactory video. Well if I remember correctly the last thing we was working on was the aluminium plant. By bringing all the bauxite into this station which gets delivered on this train from these miners which are located in the red forest. The bauxite then goes into these refineries which also needs water which then the water gets bottled in this facility right here which then you guessed it gets put on a train and gets shipped over to the aluminium plant which gets delivered to this station unpackaged in these packages then sent onto the underflooring in these pipes then combined with the bauxite makes alumina solution the alumina solution comes out of these refineries and moves to these refineries where it's going to make aluminium scrap but it needs petroleum cork so we got some oil shifted it along this pipe and then sent into these purple refineries which makes heavy oil residue and polymer resin. The polymer resin moves along these belts into these blue refineries, which makes plastic and then gets sunk. Whereas the heavy oil residue moves along this pipe, goes into these black refineries here, that makes petroleum cork. The petroleum cork then gets split into the refineries to make the aluminium scrap. The scrap then gets load balance in this load balancer system, which moves into all of these smelters, to make aluminium ingots. The aluminium ingots merge together on this belt and then get split to go into these assemblers. These assemblers are making aluminium sheets, but they also need copper. And the copper comes into this train station, which come from these miners in the grasslands. So when the copper gets unloaded, it goes up these lifts, which goes onto an underflooring, which then goes into these refineries. And this is where it makes the copper ingots, but it also needs water. And the water for that is coming from these refineries, which is making the aluminium scrap. Because the aluminium scrap recipe makes a byproduct of water, which the water which is being sent out from this is being merged together into 600 lines down below and then sent upstairs, which then goes into the refineries. But then these assemblers here are making aluminium casings, which is a different aluminium recipe, but also still requires aluminium ingots and copper ingots. And for now, all these are just being sunk because if these lines back up, that means these smelters will back up, which means the scrap will back up, which means this water will stop being produced, which means the copper won't get produced. And if the aluminium scrap and water back up, it means the petroleum cork and alum alumina solution is going to back up. And you can kind of fill in the rest that everything here will then back up, which will be a big problem. And then the next step I wanted to do, which you guys have not seen yet, but if you've seen the live streams, you will know. So I turned this building into this. So yeah, that's what I've cooked within two to three days of me returning uh, back to live streaming, back to a normal schedule and all that kind of stuff. I returned on the 13th of December. As you know, I did a 48 day marathon. I took two weeks off. I come back on the 13th uh, and then I was live streaming the 13th, 14th and 15th, which if you don't know, I do live stream here on YouTube now and I live stream on Twitch at the same time. So if you ever want to see me cook these designs or buildings or my satisfactory Let's Play series uh, live, so you can kind of get a behind the scenes of it all, make sure to check that out. Like you literally have to go into the live tab. You can see the past broadcast right here. So you won't miss a thing if you want to sit there, chill whilst you're building your factory yourself and you can build along with me. It's right in front of you. And by the click of a button, you've got five hours worth of content literally right there. Right, but first I wanted to jump into game because I wanted to break down some of the things that we have here. Because a lot of the things you can see uh, I've utilised from Blueprints. Uh, and then Blueprints was created by a content creator called Pobkak. P-O-B-K-A-C. I'll put his link in the description and that can go over to his live stream. So make sure you give that link a click, give him a follow. It'll, it'll mean the world to him. He's an awesome guy. If you want to see anything regarding science in uh, Satisfactory, like building cool things, which I'm going to show you in a second, um, he's the guy you want to go to. Like I said, it'll be worth it. 
If I go into my blueprints folder here, you can see all of these blueprints. And there is so many of them. Full frame window lit. Uh, lit. So if we grab that, we can put this down here. And you can see it's a full window with signs integrated into the frames within the frame to actually give this kind of effect and it makes it look like a force field it kind of makes it look like a shield kind of uh, but you can obviously copy this and stack it on top of each other and you know you can do so much more cool things with this and i think this is a very simple clean uh, design uh, and now that we're in update eight as well we can actually delete the whole blueprint as one which is fantastic uh also we've also got these in here these are actually a blueprint as well um i don't think i can copy these because the, i added these before the update uh, but if we go into the blueprints here we can actually see there's one here called hypertube tunnel so if we put this down he's actually made a hypertube tunnel which you can actually obviously snap together and all that kind of stuff and it's all blue <laughs> and white and obviously you can change the color of these signs i'll just take this whole design take it into the blueprint editor and change the color of them if i wanted to but i could actually copy this and i can literally just hold control and snap this together and i can make a whole tube within my base and have a train come through this um so like i said go in the description give him a click give him a follow show him some love uh, because he makes some incredible designs that are already pre-built for you what i will do is i will double check with him and if it all is good i will grab all these blueprints i will put them into a google drive document uh, and then i will upload them and so keep an eye on the description uh, it might appear not straight away but if it's all okay with him i will put them in a google drive description um for you guys to download as well and utilize but going through here is obviously trippy um and i'm so glad with update 8 how we can delete the whole blueprint now and not the individual items because deleting these would be a pain in the butt but obviously a little bit of a disclaimer these blueprints are incredibly detailed with some of them so some of them might not run in your system and all this kind of stuff door wall with lights so we've got a door frame here and he's actually got lights within the actual frame here so you can kind of see it kind of glowing which is nice i'm trying to keep a close distance here because if i come away from these the lights actually won't work as intended because of the amount of signs i've already got built in this um, but i think we're utilizing in this build this design here as well within this door frame uh, but i think it's the orange lights right yeah it's kind of the orange lights here but we, it's kind of using the blue here from these windows um these here i put in myself i've just put these lights down it kind of makes these glow we kind of did a similar uh, thing within the uh, refinery plant that we did for the fuel plant um, but making this room light up I think it's it's nice obviously lumen works like a charm hopefully you guys who are, have not tried lumen yet can hopefully run it as well um, but I'm loving the like of this room I'm using the big the big boy billboards on the floor here to kind of give some like up lighting to the, the, the building itself and create some uh, blue luminescence on the bottom then if we come out of here I used a lot of these blueprints that you put down so like here's here's them beams again this is a whole blueprint with these windows and created this whole tunnel right here uh, and i i like it because i'm i am going to be heading down the cyberpunk route um so this is kind of like my little testing ground in this aluminium plant and this right here is something i designed i just kind of put like the diagonal uh windows above the walkway here i said the walkway but the foundations uh, and did my normal kind of you know, adding the signs to a, a diagonal uh, beam, uh, which you don't need to do now because they, you're able to snap beams and pi uh, be well, sorry, signs to actual foundations now. And then other side of the hex frames, and this is obviously another blueprint made by Popcat, um, which it just goes well with this whole corridor. I do like, and it's kind of a theme throughout my factories now. You've probably seen it with the orange and kind of warm tones within the factory. Uh, it's something I do all the time now. I do need to add some more lights over here, uh, but I don't want to do that, and I didn't want to do that all the way through the last stream because it was taking up too much time, and I, I actually, unfortunately, ran out of time before I had to head to Belgium. Um, but I wanted to show you what's going on in this building, just kind of some ideas and designs. And then what I want to do now is I kind of want to take you outside. Um, I don't think there's any other blueprints I've done in here. Uh, so right here, you, it's a very consistent build design that I always do. 
straight wide big open windows and all this kind of stuff um i asked chat what do we reckon do we want to go for the hex frames on the bottom and clean glass on the top i do feel like there's a lot more detail we could add into the front of this which i was missing but like again lack of time i wanted to kind of push on to the next project because it's been a while since we released a satisfactory video on a new project which we are going to be working on soon uh, starting tomorrow by the way in the live stream so like i said I will be live on YouTube. I will be live on Twitch at the same time. So if you manage to tune in for five minutes and want to come and see what I'm working on, come in and say hi. I don't bite. I promise. Chat does, however. Well, you, Twitch chat does. They're a bit more chaotic over there. They like a bit of the like kids in a crash on the on the Twitch. On the YouTube, they're more relaxed. The more relaxed but i've seen some people from youtube go over to twitch and get a little bit corrupted by them so just a very keep, keep 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 that in mind um also on the front here i've kind of done these whole pillars like i did outside the uh, water plant uh, i just kind of just kind of aesthetically just adds it kind of makes it more um train-esque and it, it, it kind of shows like a high traffic density to me uh, and it kind of works well um, and obviously I've kind of finished off the railings here and just added some more ramps going down here and all that kind of good stuff. And that's really all that I had time for in the live stream to get a little bit of an update video on to, to, to you guys to, to catch you up where, where we're currently at, where am I currently at. Uh, and we'll be working on the next project tomorrow, which I believe we're going to be doing because we're working towards drones right now. So we, uh, the my next project is going to be working on circuit boards. We're going to be working towards high speed connectors. Um, I do need to ship the casings that we have here. And I want to take them all the way to the quartz building, because if you remember when I dismantled this whole aluminium plant, I actually disconnected the casings that were being sent over to the quartz plants uh to make the alternate computer recipe or no the radio control units the radio control units are over there right now they're not being built um so i need to get them sent over there so we need to get a train line built in that so that's one plan we need to do um and then we also need to get the plastic being well, that's being made here sent to a new plastic plant and with the plastic factory i'm actually going to build it right here we're going to replace this whole building here and build a mega uh, plastic factory uh, one because we've got fuel coming in here uh, and i want to bring any other fuel uh, well uh, fuel i said fuel but oil uh, to this location uh, and i want to start mass producing plastic here because that plastic is then going to need to go towards the high speed connectors and stuff uh, the circuit boards and then also batteries um, and we've got a lot to do um, and it's going to take some time as you know so obviously for those that don't know, it, for, for every one satisfactory video, it takes me around 40 to 60 minutes for me actually to, to, for me to actually make. Um, so please hold your horses. 60 hours is a lot. Um, so if you ever, like I said, if you ever want to catch up on what, what I'm doing or where I'm at within the project, come and check out me out on the live stream. Uh, I know I keep saying it, but it's the best way to kind of get your satisfactory fix if you're, you know, you're wanting to see that content. If not, just please hold off until the, you know, the 20 to a 10 plus 20 minutes or 30 minutes video for it to release, uh, which will be like once every so often. Uh, as, as you know, we're getting to, you know, bigger parts of the game now uh, and projects are getting larger and recipes are getting harder and uh, a lot more things are moving and all this kind of stuff. So it, it will come out. Don't worry, it will come out. So regarding this factory over here, this is where I'm thinking uh, I want to build my mega factory. Uh, and when I mean a mega factory, this is where everything is going to get sent to and everything be built from. Because we've got so much to do, this playthrough is not going to end until 1.0 of Satisfactory is released. And then we're going to start a brand new playthrough. And for those wondering about mods as well, what mods, if I'm going to do a modded playthrough, I will be doing after the 1.0 release where I'll be using the overhaul mod that I've covered in the past, which is Satisfactory Plus. I will be utilizing that because obviously that would be more complete uh, and I'll be using a lot more other mods. So I'll be doing a modded playthrough uh, of what's to come. So for those wondering, uh, we've got this playthrough. We're going to do a Satisfactory 1.0 playthrough and then a Satisfactory modded playthrough. And then we're going to see where we're currently at. So we've got about three years, maybe four years of Satisfactory content left from me 
on this channel just so you are aware and what the plan is but with this whole area here i'm thinking i want to make it very cyberpunkish i want to start making more vertical rail i say vertical rails but more um different layers so we're gonna have, a, have another building over here we're gonna have more trains going above we're gonna have trucks going up above i want to kind of make like a vertical kind of city not a wide one but a vertical one and i think it'll be interesting uh, i think it'll be cool just to kind of look up and you can kind of see things happening obviously it's gonna put a lot of strain on this chunk within the uh we in within the game but we'll just see how it goes and then if we head over into the desert we have the starter base and this is going to get ripped out as well um the when this will get ripped out is i don't know just yet um not until we i know i'm covering most of the items that's being stored in here so if we go inside if if i know i'm building most of these items elsewhere we can then strip this whole building delete it get rid of it all and clear this whole biome of whatever is here the reason being is uh, a few years back i think three years ago now maybe two years ago maybe three or more likely uh, i built something called the titan factories uh, and i want to kind of do that within this playthrough as well uh, and what they are is i extract all the iron uh, concrete copper um from this biome and the neighboring biomes uh and i bring all them ores to one well multiple factories in here it was very very similar in style there was over a thousand to two thousand refineries it was insane it was nuts and i was think i was making on the lines of 40 odd thousand iron ingots per minute i was making like around twenty thousand copper ingots per minute and about twelve thousand steel uh i was making the concrete in here as well and then i was getting all that and shipping it towards the mega factory uh, which I want to do in this playthrough as well, uh, which does mean the highway that we have here already, that is going to remain here. It's going to push through here, and we are going to send it around over to the back of the swamp where I actually want to build the nuclear plant. And the nuclear plant is going to be a large project, as you know, and the reason it's going to be, well, extra large than what you might normally see is because, as you know, we are making the water in the water plant and we are shipping it to the places that we need to go and that's going to be no different uh, no, not different for the um, nuclear plant so the nuclear plant is going to have a mega unpackage facility where it's going to unpackage all the water yes there's water right there yes i could put water extractors down and bring the water up like a normal satisfactory player but i'm not there like we've done i've done that so many times so i want to kind of bring the water over from one central area ship it the train logistics is going to be a nightmare the vehicle logistics is going to be a nightmare we're going to be bringing drones in here it's going to be a massive project it's going to be insane and i'm looking forward to it but it's going to be a challenge it's going to be a challenge and yes i'm going to break it all down into small bite-sized chunks for the videos for you guys and then all that kind of stuff so i just wanted to give you this bit of a video of an update of what my plan is where we are going forward with our satisfactory content it is not ended do not worry uh, i'm going to try and get a satisfactory video out to you this weekend as well which will be the 26th so that'll be the start of the next project so make sure you stay tuned if you want to see you know some glimpses of that make sure to tune into the live stream i'm going to say for the final time check out the youtube live streams and the twitch live streams um there will be a thumbnail which you, you'll see on youtube and you can catch them all if you miss them or you want to watch them some other time they'll be in the live category tab and all that kind of good stuff so i just want to give you a bit of an update with the satisfactory stuff what we're working what we're going to be cooking on and thank you so much for watching keep smiling remember to like subscribe and also leave a comment even if it's just a bloody emoji and i'll see you in the next video. I don't know why I did that, but I'll see you in the next video.